Hi there, boys and girls. It's good to be with you again today. Now, we're still doing the uh, uh, children's chat in church, and uh, to, today are, is the first day it's completely open, so uh, I'll be doing the children's chat there, but I'm doing it first here for you that won't be able to be there uh, for the uh, children's chat, and uh, we're following along doing some kind of trick magic uh, as we go, and I I have a song that he's still working on me because that's kind of our theme song while we're uh, going through this series of um, kind of thoughts and challenges with us. Uh, and I also brought along some clay because the song he's still working me, on me talks about clay. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about the clay in a moment. Uh, one of the things that, that happened in the Bible, let me put it that way, in the Bible there's a verse in the Psalms that says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. In all your ways acknowledge Him. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. So we're talking about how do we trust in the Lord and not lean to our own understanding or, or sometimes somebody else's understanding. I have here a little vase. And this little vase is, is kind of like you. And, and uh, let's say this is one of your friends. And... Uh, you're, you're having some trouble, and, and so you ask your friend to help you. And they say, sure, I'll help you. They didn't help. Uh, maybe you were angry, um, and, and um, you just were having get in trouble, getting control, and, and, you're, and, and so um, your friend said, look, let's just, oh, but the friend didn't help, you know. And, and, and you're all shook up. You're just all shook up. Let's all get out. And, and things aren't going well. But your friend didn't help. Yeah, that's, a, I mean, that's still a good friend. But a friend is not God. And, and sometimes we need a stronger help. So this, this one kind of reminds me of God. Um, it's, it's a stronger one. Um, but sometimes if we don't, if we don't, let God help us. God can't help us either. Now, sometimes we're, we're really shook up. We're, we're really angry. And, 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 and God says, just calm down. Uh, I'll take care of it, you know. And, and so we, we kind of, you know, ask God to help us and, and, and stuff. And, and he says, I will help you. I really will. Uh, even when you're shook up, he said, I will help you. And, and he does. He holds us up. And, and the Bible says that it's like um, underneath our, our wings or arms that hold us up. And, and we, can, we can have control. Uh, we're, we're now, now, you know, if we, if we say, God, I don't want you, he goes away. See, you have to trust him and then he will hold us up. He will keep us safe in his arms, but you got to trust him to do that, because if you don't, then you won't be able to do this, all right? So that's an important thing to remember. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not unto your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge him. Realize that God wants to help you. Now, you may be having um, some anger with a friend, or you may be frustrated with your schoolwork, or you may be uh, wanting to go play and you have jobs that you have to do. Well, you can, you can, you know, sometimes find a friend that helps you, but God says, I will always be there for you, and I'll lift you up and help you to stand. And that's, that's a good thing for us to know. Now, sometimes when we don't trust God, uh, we might say, oh, well, God's not going to help me now because I, I asked my friend to help me and, and he couldn't help me. So God's going to say, I just know God's going to say, too bad, I'm not going to help you. Yep, see, that's the way it was because you didn't trust. No, God says, you trust in me. I will be there for you. I will help you no matter what. Okay? Sorry, just remember that verse in the Bible and, and that will make a big difference, all right? So, um, that's an important thing. Now, here's that song that we've been singing. I'm going to sing a verse with it, not just the, uh, the chorus, which I've been singing. He's still working on me. But I'm going to go into the verse, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that verse. He's still working on me to 
make me what I ought to be. It took them just a week to make the moon and the stars, the sun and the earth and Jupiter and Mars. How loving and patient he must be because he's still working on me. In the mirror of his word, reflections that I see make me wonder why Daddy never gave up on me. But he loves me as I am and hears me when I pray. Remember, he's the potter, I'm the clay. And he's still working on me to make me what I ought to be. It took him just a week to make the moon and the stars, the sun and the earth and Jupiter and Mars. How loving and patient he must be because he's still working on me. Now, he's still working. I have here something that was made. I didn't make it. One of my kids made it, but I brought it in to show you. It's made out of clay. They rolled it out and made kind of like a, a snake with it. <clears throat> and then they fashioned it into a little kind of dish. And they roll out another piece of, of uh, the clay and then fastened it on to make a handle. Not probably the fanciest little thing in the world, but they made it. And that's special to me because one of my kids made it and, and I have it. I can't even remember which one made it, but I have it. Now, I have here some soft clay. I've kept it in the bag so that it can't harden because if I leave it out in the open, it will start to harden. And I'm bringing it out here just a little bit so that I can show it to you. It's been in the bag here, and you see, it's soft, and I can make it all kinds of things. I can roll it up like this, like they did with this, the, the dish and stuff, uh, and, and make it thin and uh, like that. I can, I can roll it out a little bit more, and on this side, roll it out a little bit more, and I can bring it around, and I can make a donut. Isn't that, isn't that incredible what I just did with that to make a donut? Ah, oh, my goodness. And, and not only that, but I can make it a reversible donut. Look at this. I can take it this way. And I reversed it, and I made another donut. I, I know you're impressed. That, that is just marvelous. It's taken years of practice to be able to do that. But I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. You're going to have to wait and, and see what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it back in the bag so it won't dry out. And uh, next time we meet, we'll see what's been happening to the donut and to the, the, the clay, all right? So, now, we have to have a prayer, and then uh, I'll catch you next time, all right? Father, thank you for loving us and for being there for us at all times, um, for your goodness to each of us. Help us to trust in you and not to lean to our understanding, but to acknowledge that you care about us and that you will guide us in doing the right thing. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye, boys and girls. See you next time.